Alongside Craig Button, we were, uh, you know, putting our laptops back in our bags. We were packing up. We were like halfway out the door and we have a trade to announce. Uh, last minute here, the Toronto Maple Leafs uh, stepping up, grabbing the rights to Chris Tanev from the Dallas Stars. You think there's an indication there? There's a pretty darn good chance they're going to find a deal here, Craig. If they do, this is a big get for Brad Tree Living. Yeah, big is the key word. And when you look at the type of defenseman that Chris Tanev is, it's not just the way he plays. He plays with a great amount of competitiveness. He understands how to play defense. But just as importantly, he becomes such a complimentary player for other partners. He makes everybody better, not just the team. When you think about a hard competitor, Chris Tanev is all of that and more. Certainly with the Toronto Maple Leafs acquiring him, this gives him the exclusive rights to try to sign him. This is exactly the type of defender that the Toronto Maple Leafs need to help them be successful where they want to be successful, playoffs. It's a start, right? Yeah. <laughs> I have a feeling there might be some more for Brad Trey Living. We'll see how the next couple of days go. Also very active were the Tampa Bay Lightning, they moved out a pile of money, over $11 million they save on their cap with trades over to Utah uh, for Sergachev. They move out Tanner Janot as well. Everybody thinks, well, maybe it means Steven Stamkos will sign. There could be bigger designs on other guys, but bottom line, they now have some flexibility. And and that's what Julian Brisebois was looking for, cap flexibility. He had five coming into the day, million that is. Now it's up to 16 or a little bit more than that. That allows you to do a lot of different things to try to form and construct your roster. They have Hedman, they have McDonough back, they have Chernick. Those are really good defenders. Vasilevsky's good up front, they're good. So the opportunity, not only to consider signing Steven Stamkos, extending Victor Hedman, but to add to the roster, to add to their lineup, because it's very clear where the Tampa Bay Lightning are. It's to try to win another Stanley Cup, compete for one at the very least, and this now gives Julian Brisebois a lot of different options. You've been at a lot of drafts over the years. Have to get an overarching thought from you on the spectacle that was the sphere and this could be the last one where we're all gathered together like this buddy we're going to still be together uh the the nhl teams will be in their own respective cities y you know you said spectacle i'll mm -hmm. add spectacular sphere was an unbelievable experience i think just about everybody i talked to said they're coming back here maybe the nhl draft comes back here because the presentation was second to none i think everything that we experienced here in las vegas was fantastic they say what's uh, what happens in vegas stays in vegas no no but for all these players they want to take what happened in vegas and take it to the teams that draft yeah them. we'll be spreading this message far and wide it was uh, really something else here in vegas and well, don't hold your breath. Free agency eh, just around the corner, so you'll be seeing our faces a lot more in the next 48 hours.